In the past few days, there have been some amazing advancements in AI technology. First chat GPT-4, then Google Spark, then Midjourney 5, and now Copilot X. Copilot X is a newer version of Copilot. It's based on chat GPT-4 to help you with coding. And if you get stuck with an old project that has very little explanation, you can ask Copilot X for help. It can find security problems, explain how your code works, and even assist in rewriting parts or adding comments. Now, Copilot X sits next to you in your coding environment and follows all your commands. Now, just few weeks back, I made a video of my experience writing code using ChatGPT3. I requested it to develop a Python script that would read files from AWS, validate them, split them, and publish them in a specific format. And of course, it was not free of bugs, but ChatGPT3 provided me with an excellent starting point in fact, it generated the Python code and even suggested the necessary input file validations. It advised me to create an AWS Lambda function and configure it correctly to be triggered by SQS SNS notification, and then publish the results to S3 buckets, which were well organized. I remember just a few years ago, I had to do some serious research work more than a week to achieve what ChatGPT3 did in no time. And now with Copilot X powered by ChatGPT4, it's like having a superhero on your side that can help you tackle complex problems with ease. In fact, I was both excited and scared to see this rapid enhancement, but I guess it must inspire us to dig deeper and find more ways to use the technology, basically to enhance our skills and abilities. Copilot will now have a full view of your ID so it knows what you typed into the editor and where it can be more useful. It appears as sidebar, very similar to Bing Chat in Microsoft Edge, but GitHub is also working on features that will make Copilot appear elsewhere. Developers can now highlight code in the editor and ask Copilot about the code snippets. They can utilize it to refactor code and even ask for help when debugging the code. This is an absolute game changer as far as developer experience is concerned. GitHub, in fact, is also previewing the new Copilot feature that generates descriptions of pull requests and automatically tags them, dramatically reducing the manual work needed. And with its Copilot for Docs feature, GitHub intends to enrich the information by augmenting ChatGPT's existing database with more up-to-date data. This feature will enable developers to search for documentation in a ChatGPT-like interface across a wide range of repositories. Now get this, folks. GitHub is stepping up its game and adding some serious sci-fi vibes to its Copilot too. They have gone and integrated a GitHub feature so you can now command your AI buddy with your voice. Hey GitHub, can you write me a line of code to make a coffee? Okay, maybe not, but still, it's pretty damn cool. The new and improved Copilot X system is only available for Microsoft Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code apps for now. But don't worry, GitHub has also plans to make it available for other IDs like JetBrains and NeoVim soon. And if that is not enough, get this, Copilot is even coming to your command line interface that means no more struggling to remember all those pesky commands. Just ask Copilot to write it for you and then execute it like a boss. Okay, so let me get this straight. There are not one, not two, but five waiting lists to sign up for. And we have to sign up for each one individually. Anyways, all links are in description, including the cool YouTube teaser made by GitHub team. And while I was shooting this video, I learned OpenAI launched ChatGPT plugins. These plugins basically help ChatGPT access up-to-date information, run computations, or use third-party services. Up until now, ChatGPT has been limited by the fact it can only pull information from its training data, which ends in 2021. Now, with this announcement, OpenAI says plugins will not only allow the bot to browse the web, but also interact with specific websites, potentially turning the system into a user interface for all sorts of services and sites. In fact, in one of the demo videos, someone uses ChatGPT to find a recipe and then order the necessary ingredients from Instacart. ChatGPT automatically loads the ingredient list into the shopping service and redirects the user to the site to complete the order. All right, so OpenAI says it's rolling out plugin access to a small set of users. So yes, there is another waiting list for that but hopefully just one more. Once they grant me access to the VIP waiting list, and I hope they do it soon, I'll dive so deep into these plugins, I'll feel like a mermaid on a mission. That last line was generated by ChatGPT.